Gleaming Reputations, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire, as always, is to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of James chapter 1 and verse 8, where it says, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. There was a man that went to see a lawyer once, and he said, I'm getting ready to go into business, a business transaction with a man that I do not trust. I need you to draw up a contract that is ironclad, that will make sure that there's no way he can take advantage of the situation or of me. The lawyer looked at him and he said, there is no grouping together of English words that can stop somebody that has ill intent towards you, that intends to deceive you. He said, there's no contract that will protect either one of you if even one of you sets out to deceive the other. It's his understanding that there's nothing that is as good as an honest man or honest woman. God's design and desire is that we build sterling reputations and character uh, by, by being exactly who we say we are. That means that we live with integrity. Integrity comes from the word integer, And it means one, not duplicitous, not double, not hypocritical. The word hypocritical comes from the the Greek masks of drama and comedy, one smiling and one frowning or crying. And it means one who wears a mask. Uh, So integrity is the opposite of hypocrisy. And what God wants from us as born-again believers is that we be individuals who have a sterling integrity, where we mean what we say, we say what we mean, we live where we are the same no matter who we're around, no matter what the crowd is doing, we live with integrity. Uh, we One of the words that we use to describe integrity is also sincerity. Sincerity was a word, the English word comes from two Latin words, sincera, without wax. And what it goes back to is back in the day when the Greeks would sell a statues that they had carved in marble, the unscrupulous sculptor, if he'd made a mistake and cracked the marble, he would fill the, the crack in the marble up with wax, which was uh, sera. And uh, in order for the reputable uh, uh, carvers, in order to sell their works, they would put it out into the sunshine where any cracks, any wax would melt away, and they had a sign that said, Sincera, without wax. That There was no fraudulent stuff going on. It was exactly as you see it. There wasn't cover-up or putty or bondo or, or uh, you know, carpenter's uh, filler. It was exactly as it said it was. So you and I need to be careful that we're, if we get in business or get in relationship, we need to be in relationship and in business with people who have a good character, who have integrity, but we also need to be people of integrity. And so that we're the same no matter who we're around, we're sincere, with, we're without wax. Let's pray. <coughs> Excuse me. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these that are under the sound of my voice. I pray that we would be sincere, without wax, that we would be the same have integrity to be the same no matter who we're around. Help us, God, to be men and women who are living the right way no matter what the crowd is doing. Help us to be able to stand against what the crowd tries to push everybody into, God. Keep us safe and strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. Have a good night.